Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Stone Security webisode. Today, we're going to talk about continuous recording and uh, using a feature we uh, like to refer to as keyframes only. And Bryson's going to, Bryson Higgins and Patrick Kilborn are with me today. I'm Andy Schreier from Stone Security. And Bryson's going to take us through uh, an efficient way to always have the recordings when you need them and, and not worry about your motion uh, not being high enough sensitivity. Um, Bryson, we'll, we'll, take, we'll give the uh, microphone to you. Yeah, for sure. Thanks, Andy. Um, so again, we're going to want to log into uh, the management client um, to change these settings. So once we're logged into the system here, uh, we'll want to go to our cameras. So and we can do this on a group of cameras, or we can do this for all of our cameras in, in the system here. So for example, if we wanted to do it on all of our cameras, we would click on a group that had all the cameras in it, um, and we would make that setting change there. But for here, I'm just going to do it on a couple cameras. So here we go into our um, SLC office right here, and I'm going to go to the Record tab. And what I want to do here is I'm going to want to make sure that I check this box here that says record keyframes only. You'll notice here it's squared out. That's because we've done this on a couple of our cameras. So you can actually do this on just an individual camera. So I'm going to go here to the SLC admin office camera. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check this box to record keyframes only. I'm going to save this change on this camera. And then I'm going to come in. I'm going to make a rule under rules and events. I'm going to make a new rule. So I'm going to right click add rule and going to name this uh, keyframe recording continuously oops, oops. and I'm going to do this on a time interval and I can do this I can do this on a recurring time I can do it on an event however I want to you can basically set this up but for this right now because we want to do it all the time we're going to do it on time interval we're going to select always as our interval and we're going to do start recording and we'll select our device. We're going to go back to that group there, SLC office. We'll find our admin office hall and add that to our group. Now, if we were doing a whole folder of our all cameras, we could click the all cameras folder group and add this over to here as well. But for this, I'm just doing this single camera. So go ahead and hit OK. So it's going to be so now now it's basically done. I can just next through all this right here. And now this camera will record keyframes only. Um, now what we typically do with this as well is what we want to do is we want to adjust our motion settings our motion record settings so under here you have your default record on motion rule and you'll notice here this is already edited but um, by default um, the checkbox that is not on here is this set recording frame rate to all frames so we would want to make sure we edit this rule to include this checkbox right here. And so what this will do now is this camera will record continuously whether there's motion or not on the camera the keyframes continuously 24 7 and then when motion is detected from any camera so we did it for our, all of our cameras in the system here it'll actually record all the frames that that camera is configured to so for example going back to that camera this camera is set to record at if we go to the settings here 15 frames per second so by recording keyframes only when no motion is occurring like right now we are recording about every one to two seconds of at one frame per second. So it's a little bit jittery and, and glitchy and stuff like that with the video, but it's continuously recording an image all the time. You'll have video no matter what, whether something happens really far off or anything like that, whether motion happened or not, you will still have video in your milestone playback. But when motion occurs, so when our threshold crosses um, in our motion set, uh, sensitivity here when it crosses this line here it'll then begin recording 15 frames per second on this camera or whatever your desired uh, setting is for the camera any questions Andy no that's a good demonstration this is a really unique uh, cool tool that we can use uh, a lot of times clients want to know that nothing is happening as as much as they they want to know what happened and and if something yep. happened, many times clients want to know that absolutely nothing happened. And there's proof that, that that's the case with the, with this type of a tool. 
yeah, a lot of use cases that I see it for is parking lots. Um, they'll put this on the parking lot so they get a lot of claims that someone bumped into their car, they slipped and fell at this time or that time, and with continuous recording and keyframe recording, they're able to see if something actually did occur at all. So a lot of those times those exterior parking lot cameras can really only pick, you up, pick up a vehicle moving because it's so far off on the pixels, but when you're recording keyframes, you're going to get everything. So you're going to see that vehicle, that vehicle or that person moving in the very far off corner of your parking lot, no matter what. Yeah, and the motion sensitivity settings are not foolproof. They're, they need to be dialed in and, and they need to be uh, optimized and at times. And this will definitely help. Yeah, this will definitely help point out, too, that you need to make some cha um, setting changes as well. So this, uh, if, you, if you notice you're going through your playback and you're seeing that, hey, motion did occur at this time, why didn't it record at full frame? So you can go and make sure that your motion settings are configured a little bit uh, more sensitive. Perfect. Thank you very much, Bryson. Yeah, absolutely. That was awesome, Bryson. You are the milestone wizard. Thank you, everybody, for joining us today for another Stone webisode. Thank you, Andy. Have a great day.